Hello folks, Luke Simons with you. Back to the Basics 101. Today, we're doing a little bit of staining. You know, you'll have a wood bottom trailer or something like that that you're not touching a whole lot. This wood will just obviously rot. And Green Treat costs a lot of money. Now, if you don't want to get dirty, Green Treat is a good way to go. But even Green Treat will get brittle and it'll start to flake off. It's so on and so forth. This isn't Green Treat here. This is just a, a regular uh, two by 10 that I've got on an old dump trailer of mine that works like a champ, love it. However, I decided we are going to stain this bad boy. Now I usually stain all of my trailer floors, etc. And if I replace trailer floors, I never put Green Treat in because I use a home remedy that you tree huggers are gonna hate. But us homesteaders, we love it. And we also understand that it's a green product. Well, more of a black product, really. Let's jump in. A little bit of bird droppings on there. A little dirt. Doesn't matter with this particular type of stain, which I'll go into more detail. On the top here, you're gonna notice that it's gonna to wanna to soak in quite a bit. And if your wood is older, this particular stain actually works better. Um, new wood doesn't want to soak it up as well. You will notice that. So this particular wood is quite a bit older. And it's gonna soak it in from the top because of the water and the sun is just gonna bake this wood. And you're gonna notice if you do this every four years or so, this wood will last virtually forever. You talk about a green product, no cutting down wood. You don't have to buy this. Um, by the way, I haven't told you what this is yet. If you've guessed, put it in the comments what it is. Most of you will know, some of you won't. It's a green, green product that's recycled and didn't cost me a dime. A little bit will go a long ways. Completely a green product. This wood will last virtually forever if you do this every year. I'll tell you a quick story. I was shingling a roof one time for a gentleman, an older rancher, and um, he was, he had a beautiful old hay wagon sitting there. And I asked him, I said, man, the wood on your hay wagon looks beautiful. I said, you must have just put that on there. And he goes, oh no, that wood there is, and he thought about it, he goes, 40, 80, it must be 81 years old. I said, what? I said, it looks like new. He goes, well, we oil it every other year. I said, you oil it? He goes, yeah, we use linseed oil every other year, linseed oil and diesel. And I thought, no kidding. That's what really made me start thinking, wood should last forever. Of course it does. If you put cedar siding on your house, the old timers, that siding was 60, 70 years old. And it still looked fairly good with a little upkeep. So wood is a long lasting product if it's upkept. But I still haven't told you what this is. Well, look at that wood just soaking it up. Now the particular stain I'm using, it does dry to the touch and you won't get dirty from it. But I wouldn't sit on a, your Sunday vest or a white shirt necessarily. And you will probably need a couple coats on this because the wood is dry, really dry. And this is just loving it. It's just lapping it right up. Now, some of you tree huggers are thinking, well, you're gonna get some on the ground. Plants love this stuff. A little bit and they actually love it. Won't kill grass at all. Unless you put it on and major amounts, which is all types of fertilizer, which we don't try to use on this ranch. We're organic. 
you can see there's a dry spot right along here where it soaked it up so every time you see a dry spot just come back over it and hit that dry spot up again put on as many coats as you want to remember this isn't going to cost you a dime this kind of particular stain now this stain does get dusty on the road that's not a problem my hay has never complained the garbage I haul around in this has never complained completely a green product here completely a green product and preserving this wood forever if you have not yet subscribed to our channel back to the basics 101 I would remind you it is completely free to subscribe feel free to leave comments below we do shows like this all the time we are true environmentalists not like these fake environmentalists that most of the colleges are turning out these days telling people that have no idea about living outside um, that might go hiking or camping every once in a two years or once every twice every year those of us that live out here with nature we love it and there's a great understanding for nature nature provides our income provides our living our lifestyle everything we don't want to ruin our environment that'd be the last thing that we'd want to do you do that you just killed your golden goose Besides that, the Bible says that we're good stewards of the land. So if you're a good steward of the land, you're not going to do things that hurt the land. Why would you do that? The people that do hurt the land, they're not in business very long because the land just simply won't take it. And therefore, they don't make a commodity anymore. Pretty simple. True environmentalist. Live off the land. How dry that is. See that? Check this out. Look at that. That stain just soaks it up. The nice thing about this stain is, like I mentioned before, it is completely free. And if one of my guys drops a pellet on it or something and dents it not a problem the stain always matches in no matter what I don't have to worry about a color because this kind of stain I'm using which I will tell you at the end of the video is 100% the same color generally speaking and if it varies a little bit not a big deal not a big deal at all it'll all blend in in time but it's really soaking it up which is good we want it to soak in at least a quarter of an inch, maybe a half inch. And it really, it really does in some places. Look at that, where the sap is coming out of there. Now this is an oil-based stain. I'll give you that for a clue. Termites will leave this alone. And on this particular project, this is probably saving me, because remember, this, this type of product is a natural resource on the ranch on the homestead or or actually even you tree huggers it's a natural resource you absolutely city dwelling folks this is 100 percent a natural resource for you as well I guarantee you you will have this around you may not know you do but you do this is an oil-based stain termite resistant Pretty much every kind of bug resistant. Bugs don't like it. Won't kill them. I suppose if you dumped a gallon on them, it might. But for the most part, it won't kill them. Very environmental friendly product. And this product has been around forever almost. Well, early 1900s for sure. There's a lot of uses for this project. For this product, not project. I'm a goofball. Rich, pure in taste. Hmm. 
This thing, this stain has 170 calories. Kind of interesting. I'm not gonna try those calories though. See how dry that is? Check this out. It's gonna be dry for several quotes. You will see that your ends and tops are going to really soak it up. But don't be afraid to just put on as much as it's going to ask you to put on. And it's talking to you. It really is talking to you. Put on as much as, as you can possibly. It will soak up. This will talk to you if you listen. Well, this is your second coat of what we're going to call our black oil-based stain which is 100% oil-based stain. I always start at the top. And let your brush be kind of saturated. And you can actually just let it sit on the top there. And then what will happen is, is the oil will just, your stain will end up just coming down in a nice thick coat. This is our second coat of stain. Like I said, bird, feces, whatever, dust, it doesn't matter. Use an old paintbrush, one that you don't care about. You don't even need to wash this thing. Just set it up, hang it up in your shop because you're making more of this stain every day almost. That's what it looks like right now. What it looks like after before after so far we've used about a gallon and a half so that's about uh, good stain that's about sixty dollars worth that we've saved See, something fell here and it's all broke up right there and that's a good spot for moisture to seep in but we're not going to worry about that at all we're just going to put some of Luke's magic sauce on there. I'm not saying that you should paint your house with this stuff. But I am saying for things that you want to preserve, that you're using, this is your key. This is your product right here. And by the way, some of you are going to say, hey, that, that's like living in a, a matchbox. Sorry guys, it, it's not. Um, it's hard to start this on fire. It really, really is hard to start this on fire. Once this dries, it, 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 it's gonna burn just about like normal wood actually. And the inside, you can see what it looked like before. This wood will last well over a hundred years with a product that is 100% free, that liberals absolutely hate, that cannot understand it, that are buying oil-based stain for their decks, and they say this is unhealthy. They say this is wrong. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't figured it out yet, it's used motor oil. That's what this is, an oil-based stain. Comes off easy. Uh, if you get it on paint, it's all right. Uh, don't do it on concrete. It does come off of concrete, but you don't want to do it on concrete. Um, if you put it on the grass, if you soak it on so heavily, yes, the grass will discolor a little bit um, and then come back like gangbusters. Actually, it'll come back like nitro green. Uh, has been my experience, but you don't want to put it on over heavily um, Lots of uses for used motor oil um, I hope you enjoy the show uh, share it like it um, Leave comments below if you're a tree hugger. I don't care. You can leave comments anyways um, You you whack jobs uh, Buy oil based stain from Ace Hardware Menards Lowe's and Walmart with no problem but yet when I recycle and that's what you guys are all about, is recycling. You're all in arms. And I'm thinking to myself, hmm, something's not adding up here. 
Until next time, this is Luke Simons. Happy trails.